This 57 second YouTube video turned into a viral conspiracy theory, and it wasn't by accident. Ukraine apparently hired an assassin to kill Tucker Carlson. It started in February when the video was posted to a four day old YouTube channel. The title in Russian says, this is the interrogation of a would be killer recruited to assassinate former Fox News host, Tucker Carlson. Carlson was in Russia at the time to interview Vladimir Putin and this interrogation supposedly exposed a plot to detonate a bomb under Carlson's hotel. A day after this video went up, it was shared on multiple pro Kremlin telegram channels alongside a lengthy post in Russian explaining the plot that included other photos as evidence. Later that day, articles, now in English, appeared online. And by the afternoon, the video had been posted to X, now with English subtitles, eventually getting attention from Charlie Kirk, Benny Johnson, and other right-wing posters, who shared it with their American audiences. In a breaking bit of new revealing information, we see that there was an assassination attempt on Tucker Carlson's life when Now there is zero Russia evidence that this assassin story was true, but these people apparently found it believable. Because if it were true, that would prove the long-held and also false theory that Carlson was atop a Ukrainian hit list. Tucker Carlson is the leading voice speaking out against the corruption in Ukraine and against giving people like this more money. So if this isn't real and a total lack of evidence to corroborate the claim makes it clear that it isn't, where did it come from? This story was actually manufactured by a small but prolific pro-Russian group, one researchers call Storm 1516. The experts who tied this video to Storm 1516 tell me that the group is like a next generation troll farm. They need to adapt to a new medium, uh, which is video, and they need to come up with a way to make uh, disinformation. We've found that this is a playbook they've been using a lot to make fake videos and spread disinformation to a mainstream Western audience. And a pair of indictments unsealed in September revealed the motives behind Russia's expansion of that effort. Storm 1516's starting point is often a cheaply made first-hand account of a whistleblower or investigative journalist, which becomes primary source evidence. This part doesn't need to go viral. Its purpose is to serve as evidence later, when the story then gets repackaged and amplified. This is the intel drop uh, that has sourced the actual information with apparently photos of the IED here, good God. The intel drop is known to republish content from Russian state media, while others like the Miami Chronicle and Clear Story News, which look like real local news outlets, actually host fake and AI generated stories. The first users who posted the video on X with English subtitles, I found were a QAnon influencer and an anonymous verified account known to spread false stories about Ukraine. Now, there's a lot we still don't know about Storm 1516. According to researchers, the group works on behalf of, but is loosely tied to the Kremlin, and it's just one piece of a tiny prong in Russia's overall propaganda operation. While experts tell me most fake stories aren't this successful in reaching a wide Western audience, it's still an effective operation because they know their audience and how to reach them.